What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. You know, I know a lot of people have toyed around with the idea of starting up a podcast. Seems like everybody's got something to say these days, and they somehow feel that it's okay to say it on the internet. <laughs> and like people be wanting to listen. <laughs> Seriously, man, everybody's got a freaking podcast. So if you're one of those people who want to start up a podcast, or maybe you just want to do some gaming, or since times have changed now and a lot of people are doing the work from home thing, you got a lot of Zoom conferences going, you might need a little setup, you know, something that you can just have, you know, ready to go whenever you're ready to get into your meeting. Might want a, a nice little setup to get things going. So what I have here today is a nice little care package from Mayono. Mayono actually makes great audio equipment. I've used some of this stuff personally before. Not, I haven't used this stuff, but in the past I've used some of their mics and they were excellent microphones. So I want to share this with you today. So we got some studio headphones, which is the AU-MH601 professional audio headphones. And then we have a condenser microphone set. This one is the AU-PM422 uh, microphone set. So, you know what? Let me just unbox it for you real quick and then I'll set it up and we'll complete the video using this equipment. Let's do it. So let's go ahead and get into these headphones first since this is a smaller box and I can just get it out of the way. All right, see what you get in here. All right, nothing crazy going on with the box. Don't need those instructions. And you do get your audio cable right here. And what I'm really happy to see is that it's just not a straight cable. Uh, straight cables are cool, but you definitely need a, a springy cable, a coiled one, because you know, when you back up away from your setup, you don't want to snatch all your gear out and, and ruin your whole setup. So this gives you some, some warning before you snatch all your gear off the table. What you're gonna get on this 90 degree uh, 3.5 millimeter plug is a six millimeter or 6.5 millimeter adapter. So let's just screw that back on there because I may or may not need it in the, oh, you get two, there's the other one. So you get two of these adapters right here. So that's nice to have on your coiled cable and they're both 90, well, these aren't even 90 degree. These are like 45 degree cables, which is even better. So now we'll get into the star of the show here, which is the headphones or the co-star of the show, I should say. Let's see what these are all about. And just by putting my hands on them, I, you know what, on my other channel, I do headphones like all day, every day. Get in here, man. I ain't even really looked at them yet. I just got my hands on them and they feel freaking fantastic. I love this soft coating right here. Wow, this is nice. So they do have a familiar look. They have more of a audio technica kind of monitor, studio monitor kind of look. And there is nothing wrong with that, man. I can actually appreciate it. But this soft touch coating right here just feels good. It makes them feel like they're a higher quality. And then on the band here, you got an all plastic design. So be careful with that, with the, all the flex, because they could snap, it's, it's all plastic. Have your branding right there on the top. And these really do look great, man. Let's see how they feel and look on my head. Okay, so they are very comfortable. They do have a little bit of weight, but they are comfortable. And you can hear a little, I, like I can hear my AC right now. I don't know if it's coming through the microphone or not, but I can definitely hear my AC. So you will get some ambient sound in here and I'm okay with that because I like hearing my surroundings, but I just wanted to let you know. But man, these feel good. So for the podcasters and the, the streamers, you can definitely wear these for a good amount of time. Now let's get into these, uh, oh, they swivel too. So they swivel out just like that and they fold up as well. Back you out a little bit. Let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the mic stand or the boom arm, I should say, that has the microphone in it too. Man, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here and I'm excited. Okay. User manual, I might need this. I just might need this. Don't get too carried away throwing away stuff. You got your wind cover right here, your windscreen, because you do get a mic. You get this really nice uh, pop filter right here. This one is super nice. Let me put that off to the side. Then you have the business. Let's get in here and see what this microphone looks like. So yeah, man, this is a good mic. You got a little this is just a little protection right there. Put that back on there, I don't wanna mess it up. So this looks like a, a mute, a touch mute button, like a touchpad type of mute button. Then you got your mic gain right there. Can you see that? You got a gain, let me focus, man, focus. There you go. You got a gain for that mic, let's put it halfway. Headphone jack, cause we did get some headphones. And you get your directional microphone here. This is a condenser mic. Then it also has a US, which USB is this? I think this is USB B maybe. 
I don't remember which one this is, but it's not a standard USB. And you do get this, looks like it's a pretty long cable here. I'll have to figure out how long that is. But you do get the cable to go with it, so don't worry. I think it's USB-B. Somebody correct me in the comments. I know somebody will, but you get your USB-A and USB-B here. That will allow you to interface with the mic. And then we have a clamp for the table, which is actually is kind of a nice one. It's not the cheap feeling ones that I've, I've seen with other um, with with other microphone sets. This one actually feels like it's not going to be leaning and wobbling all over your table. So that's good. And then you get, man, this is, I'm getting nothing but quality out of this, man. Let's scoot this back a little bit. Every time I touch something, it just feels like it costs a lot of money. So you get this shock mount and it really does feel like a great shock mount. It's got your rubber bands in there and they're already set for you to go. All you got to do is screw your microphone in there. It actually has threads in there. So this just kind of goes in actually upside down. It goes in just like this and then you'll just screw it in and get it all set. But this, uh, it just feels like quality, man. Everything I've touched so far feels like quality stuff. Now, here is something that's super important. You get some straps for your cables. So this thing is ultra lightweight, super lightweight, and it's not making a bunch of sounds and stuff like that. Okay, Mayono, you've done good so far. I gotta get this thing set up. That way we can finish up this video, but you gotta hear how the mic sounds and I gotta tell you how the headphones sound. So give me a moment to get it all set up and we'll go ahead and round out this video. Man, can I just tell you that I really, really, really like this mic and headphone setup. It's way more impressed than I thought it was gonna be. I told you Mayono makes great stuff and hopefully this audio is coming in crystal clear because when I did my quick test before I turned on the camera, I fell in love with it. It is a great microphone set. These headphones are clutch in this situation. They feel good right now. Not too much pressure on my head or my ears and I'm getting the audio that I need. Right now I have the pop filter put on there because you know, you gotta protect against your plosive. So if I keep saying pop, 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 pop with the pop filter on, it doesn't sound so harsh. But if I say pop, 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 it might get a little harsh with the pop filter off. I don't have the windscreen on because I was using the pop filter, but you know what? Let me just go ahead and put that on. Hopefully I don't scratch the audio too much. Okay, so I've taken the pop filter away and I put on the, uh, the windscreen. So I guess you don't have to use a pop filter unless you want to, but I got it all hooked up and it was literally a plug and play system. I plugged it in, the, uh, the computer recognized it immediately. And that cable is long enough. I'm probably, I don't know, it's probably an eight foot cable or so that I have plugged into the computer. So right now I could be doing my podcast because I got some issues I'd like to talk about. You know what I'm saying? But I did mention how they have this mute button. Let me get this on the overhead mic. So let me just kind of loosen this up and you can see that uh, mute button right there. So the mute button is green right now because I'm not muted. It's like, go, let's go, let's talk about this. But if I just tap. Turn it back on and there you go. So when it comes to microphone gain, let me go ahead and lock this thing in place because now I got my issues I wanna talk about again. So right now the gain is up halfway, okay? So let me just turn the gain up as I'm talking so you'll get some more background noise probably and my voice is probably loud and annoying, but it's, it sounds good, right? I know, right? I know. But then if I wanna just kind of tone it down a little bit, get some of that background noise out and minimize my voice, I can go ahead and turn it all the way down to a minimum. I don't know if this is actually recording anything or not, to be honest with you, but let me turn it back up to uh, the midway point right there. Let me, you know, just about three quarters of the way, all the way up, yeah. All right, so that's been done. And that's all the interfacing you have to do with the microphone itself. The shock mount seems to be pretty good. Let me, can you, are you getting that feedback from the shock mount or no? I don't know. Well, I'm not hearing it in my headphones, so, but if I do this, yeah, you're gonna hear it. But you know, sometimes you can, you know, accidentally bump a table and you don't wanna be annoying people, you know, as you're uh, doing things, as you're adjusting and you don't want that feedback coming through your microphone. Now do be careful with this touch pad on the mute button because uh, if you're just adjusting the mic, you only touch the, the touch pad, that's a, actually a mute button. So definitely be aware of that, but, Wow, everything else is just awesome. But let me show you one more thing about the headphones. So what I noticed as I was plugging things in, you have two headphone inputs right here. You have your uh, 3.5 millimeter input on that side, and then you got a 6.5 millimeter on the other side. So 
they give you two of these adapters uh, but you can use it or not but that's a nice option to have having a 3.5 on one side and a six point um, 6.5 on the other side and you could probably daisy chain these together if you wanted to with some other ones you know in case you had somebody else listening in and I'm not I hope you could hear that loud and clear because it was kind of far away from me yeah you could probably hear that but so far I'm loving this mic I'll be honest with you man a lot of you know microphones and stuff come through here and I do a lot of showcases of you know this kind of setup you know where you got a boom arm or even a microphone and I, I usually just kind of you know sell them all <laughs> because you can only have so many, right? My primary one is a Rode, um, it is the Rode USB, something like that. It was a very expensive microphone. It is well worth the money. But if you're on any type of budget, this is the one to keep right here. In fact, I am keeping this one. So don't be expecting to find this one on eBay. <laughs> this one is mine. I'm actually mounted right here <laughs> because I need an extra mic because I got tired of moving my road mic. I've been searching for one that I was going to get in here and keep. And this is it, the Mayono. Oh, man, I'm so happy, man. I, I hope the audio has been good because I can hear it in my headphones right now. And I'm loving it. It's nice and clean. Not too much bass, not too much treble. I'm not getting any feedback plug and play so yeah if you're trying to podcast or stream or something and you're new to the game or if you're trying to do the zoom meetings and stuff and you're new to the game this one is a no-brainer the cost is on point the value is on point because you get the boom arm the accessories with the pop filter the windscreen and uh the shock mount you hardly ever get shock mounts when it comes to setups like this especially for that price and you get the headphones so and it sounds good to boot and it's simple to use like I didn't even have to pull out the instructions, man. It just didn't have to do it. I am no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is this audio is clean. This audio is good, okay? That's that's what I got to say about that. But until I get back with another video, make sure y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <laughs>